Alrighty, guys. One-on-one -on -one action here. I need to really change my shutter here because it is so slow. Oh, maybe I can't. Looks way better. All right. Um, okay, I guess let's get started. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the cameras that I'm going to be using this season, as well as what I use to edit my videos. I get this question literally every day. You know, everybody wants to know what the best way to edit is, what formats, what cameras, what everything. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a breakdown. I'm not gonna get crazy into details, but I basically wanna cover enough information that somebody who's just starting out can be like, okay, I can go in and I can do this. Because I pretty much learned by myself. Um, I used to edit back when YouTube allowed editing on YouTube. Um, I don't even know if that's still a thing, but anyway, I'm going to show you how I do it, so let's go. Okay, so I can't even tell if it's focused on me, but I'm going to hope it is. Um, so currently the video... Or I guess currently the footage that you guys are watching right now is from my Sony a6300 um, I will show you here in a second what that looks like but I have a second camera that I'm adding to my arsenal this year and so I want to discuss this one um, as well as the video camera that um, you're watching through currently so I'm kind of gonna be flipping back and forth um, this one I literally just got last week and this is the first I've ever touched it, used it, you know, actually got to mess around with it aside from in the store where I was kind of playing around. So I am really excited to share this with you guys and share this whole video just because um, I just, I get the question a lot about what I use and what I film with and we'll get into editing in the second half of this video. But for now, let's get started and um, yeah. So this is the Canon G7X Mark III. Um, I believe it is the newest um, camera on the market as far as this specific like um, category, if you will. Um, I used to use Canon way back in the day um, and I had switched to Sony mostly just to kind of test it out. I feel like Sony is super user friendly and you know, I'd say pretty much when I first started filming, Sony was like the hot ticket, the big thing, like everybody wanted to have their hands on a Sony. Um, and so I kind of jumped on the bandwagon with it, which I don't normally do, but I really do like Sony. Um, and I had always used Canon, so I kind of wanted to just test something out. Um, and Basically, most of the Canon DSLRs, um, the bodies are just gigantic, um, and that is one thing that I really wanted to kind of, you know, play around with with Sony is, you know, is is this little mini compact size a lot better, you know, as far as like self filming goes, um, and I think it is. Now, obviously, you're looking at a Canon right here that is very small, but this is a lot newer, and this is not necessarily. Um, what I would go for as a main filming camera. I literally bought this because I've been in need of a second shot angle for so long. <laughs> and I finally got a, you know, got the chance to get a camera that is able to be a second shot angle. Um, and I, th I, basically some of the features that I 
went with this for um, over a separate Sony is one, it is a lot smaller even than the Sony's. Um, I think the smallest Sony is like an A5100, at least the ones I looked at. Um, which the body size isn't giant, but it's still relatively big compared to this one. And I wanted um, something that is super compact for my second shot angle. That way I can literally put it anywhere um, and on any kind of like tripod, even if it's like a little tiny one that I need to wrap around a branch or whatever. Um, so the size of this really kind of sold me. Um, and it also has a mic attachment, which it kind of is unfortunate because it's on the side of the camera rather than in say like a cold shoe spot where I could you know be able to actually sit the mic on top so I'm gonna have to work with that but I think what I'm gonna do is get maybe a mic that's just kind of a little piece that comes out um, I'll get back to you guys on that because I'm just not sure I'm gonna have to play around with it but the Sony did not have a mic attachment um, the 5100 did not and I need a mic because this is going to be my interview camera basically you know I'm going to go up in the tree and be like all right guys blah 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 whatever um and the other thing um the main reason why I really needed a second shot angle camera is because the screen flips up now the screen that you're currently viewing in um it has the option to kind of kickstand out, but um, my Sony doesn't have the option to completely flip up or flip around. Um, and so I really needed something that I could flip on, turn it on, and be able to actually like see myself and see what I'm filming. Um, and so that was like one thing that I definitely have been needing, and I feel like it's going to really enhance my videos um, because. Even though, yes, I do get second angles sometimes, I can't get them simultaneously. I'm always having to stop filming this spot just so I can put it over here and film something and then bring it back. And it really just like slows me down. Um, so if I have a second camera, it just makes a world of a difference. So if you have the funds to do it um, and you're trying to just figure out, okay, what can, I, what can I start out with? Get two cameras, even if it's like a GoPro or something as your second you know camera angle um obviously you want your first camera to be your best camera um because that's what you're going to be filming your deer or whatever it is you're shooting or focusing at um and you're going to be using that more often typically um i believe this retailed for just under 800 dollars um and truthfully when it comes to cameras you get what you pay for you can easily, absolutely get something cheaper um, if, if, if $800 is not in your budget, which it is not really in my budget. It Obviously, it took me forever just to get this. Um, but it kind of just comes um, down to how creative can you be with what you have. And, you know, if you can't afford an expensive camera or even, I mean, this is not by any means expensive, but it's not cheap, you know, so... You kind of just have to work with what you got and you can make it work and I mean I like I said I upgraded I used to have a, a Canon I think before that I had like a Fujifilm something I don't, I don't even know what it was and then my very first camera as I said in one of my other videos was literally it looked like a cell phone it was like a little Kodak point and shoot kind of thing it had like three buttons on it and that's what I started filming with. So it does take time, you know, but um, obviously you get what you pay for. So you kind of just have to keep that in mind and what you're looking for specifically. And, you know, everybody has a different style. So you just have to figure out what's best for you. Um, I'm not necessarily saying you have to go out and buy this exact camera or use Sony or whatever. But um, this is just what I'm going to be using this year. And I'm, I'm looking forward to testing this out. Um, like I said, I have not been able to really play with this up until right now. So as far as field experience, I'm not sure how it'll do. But um, I think it had the best reviews overall for the similar style of camera. So this is why I went with this one. Um, and obviously I had previous experience with Canon, so I know I like them. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, it also has a touch screen where the Sonys do not um 
so that's a nice thing this films in 4k not that you necessarily need that um but if that's something you're looking at you can definitely do that which is i'm definitely looking for that so it's handy but um the lens on it is a 8.8 .8 to 36.8 millimeter uh f 2.8 but basically this is your one and only lens this is what you get but I like it because it is a very wide angle lens, which basically means that when you're, um, you know, doing interviews, I don't know how well you can see. I'll show you guys this film. Um, basically, when you're doing interviews, like I just said, um, it's easy to just kind of put it within arm's reach and it covers a very wide um, picture rather than being like super up close and looking at all of my nasty blemishes so we're gonna back that up and look a little better so yeah anyway this is kind of like the main reason why I like this camera um, it's a little bit wider uh, lens than what my Sony options were um, obviously you can get different lenses but because this one already had it attached and I'm looking to film like right now um, you know, it just it was just like the option for me. Maybe I won't like it, maybe I will, but um, that'll be like a future update for you guys. But anyway, that is the Canon G7X Mark III. All right, anyway, now let's go to the Sony. So now, as I said, this is the first I'm getting to use the Canon. You're currently seeing me through the Canon. Look at that autofocus. All right, so I still have to play around with it and kind of figure out you know all the little ins and outs of how to use it and how I want it to work um, typically I run everything full manual um, but there's some auto features that are still set so I'm gonna have to play around but anyway um, so ah, ah, I also forgot my tripod so it's currently sitting on like a little rigged up thing here okay so Sony this is my main camera that I'm running and I've ran this for the last two years. By no means is it the newest of the new. It's not the new new, it's the old old. Um, this is the Sony A6300 Alpha Series, um, little alpha symbol. So I love this camera, but it's not the new new. And so I need to upgrade um, but I don't have the money, so it's kind of why I was like, well, let's either get a new, you know, rig that would be for my main filming or get a second camera for my second shot angle that I've really been needing. So I was like, mm, I'm going to go with the Canon. So anyway, got this camera, but this is my main one. Um, I love it. It's like I said, it's got some things I wish it would I could upgrade with. Like it's not the greatest in low lighting. Um, so the new, like, Sony A7, I think it's the Mark III, is, like, the nicest camera currently, and Brittany, my friend Brittany has it, and it's really great in low lighting. Um, obviously, if you put a better lens on it, it's even better, but the, the body itself is just set better for low lighting. So, um, this one, not so much, but... It works and a lot of times when it gets to the point where I can't film say a deer usually I can't even see my pins to shoot anyway so it really isn't the worst thing ever um, I mean sometimes it'll bite you if you if you need that low lighting but um, for the most part it's not too bad um, it does have a mic holder obviously you can tell I have a mic attached so that's super convenient, unlike my little guy here. I, I've really got to figure out the mic situation. I don't even know what this audio currently is going to sound like, but we're going to get through this together, guys. Um, so one thing I dislike is the fact that I can't flip my screen, which is why I needed the second camera, because literally I try to be self-filming and can't see myself so I would have to like hope for the best hope I'm in focus um, which one thing I will say is it does have like a quick auto kind of little button which basically is I don't know if you guys can it's trying to focus on my face come on focus 
somewhere in here. Anyway, I don't know if you can see, but this little button right here. If you press and hold, that is like a little, like a quick focus. Um, so that's kind of what I would do is I would hold it um, with this particular lens. I know that I have to have it at exactly arm's length um, or farther and able to, to be able to um, focus it on myself. So I'd put it at my arm's length, hold that button in, maybe press it two or three times just to be sure. And then I'd, you know, do my interviews or whatever. Usually works out, sometimes not so much, but um, you know, like I said earlier, you gotta work with what you got. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think what else I really do like this camera I think it's just super easy to use like it's very user friendly um, some other brands are not in my opinion um, I really like the lens system on these I think I think so I think Sony bodies are the best and Canon lenses are the best um, but I don't have the means to go and mess with all the adapters and all that kind of stuff so um sony glass is pretty good um again you get what you pay for um but what i like about the alpha series is most of them have the e-mount system so any lens that says e-mount you're guaranteed to fit on your body so um i really like that feature honestly other than that it's a pretty good camera again it shoots in 4k if you need it to and some people I mean I like it for that that purpose but a lot of you know people don't need that you can get away with 1080p just fine um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about feel free to comment and ask me questions because I don't know how elaborate I need to get with some of these details um, just because I don't know what you guys know um, I just know what I know so Anyway, um, that's basically my camera setup for this year. Um, Sony's the main body. Canon's going to be my little, you know, second second angle. Um, so hopefully I can get some cool stuff and really just up my video game. Um, that is my goal and I'm looking forward to it. So um, like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. And I am going to show you my editing software and a little bit about it a little bit of user um details i guess and how to go about editing everything that you put together with your cameras so let's go all right y'all so i don't know if this is like glitchy looking um i apologize if it is but it's really hard to just film from my camera onto my computer screen but we're gonna get through this um so the app that I use is if we can get on this little focus game here maybe there we go Adobe Premiere Pro obviously 2019 is going to be the newest version so you click on that brings you up to any of your projects um, I have a few pulled up obviously let's just click on one that I'm working on um, it's been a minute since I worked on this, but also quick little comment while this is loading. Um, so I have a Dell computer. Um, I'm always told that Apple is like the quickest to process and therefore it's the easiest to, you know, process your footage and just makes editing a lot easier, quicker, whatever. Um, I need to upgrade, obviously, because um, it just takes forever to upload stuff, but um, still working on that. But for now, I have a Dell, and you just gotta kinda wait on it and take some time, but it works. So anyway, just a little disclosure, get the newest laptop you possibly can, <laughs> just because it's faster. Um, so I definitely thought I had media in here, but I guess not. Anyway, this is your little timeline here. Bottom side is your sequence, which is if you drag a clip, let's just find a random file. Okay, import. I really don't have many files on here. Let's just use an audio file. We're going to import that. Now, all of your imports are going to be shown on the bottom left. 
which you can customize your screen however you want, move things around, make that bigger, make the top smaller, etc. whatever. I kind of leave mine very standard. I know a lot of people that edit, they move stuff around. Anyway, imports. You're going to bring your file over. And your very first file that you drag over is what is going to start your timeline. And basically, um, you got your video. Video side is up top, audio is on the bottom, which this is an audio file, so that's all you're going to see. But if it's a video that has audio, so like literally any clip ever, pretty much, um, like the one you're listening to at this exact moment, would have a video section equal to your audio section um, and then you can kind of customize from there you can mess with them shorten them if you want your song just to be shorter or whatever um, or if you want a clip that's only 30 seconds you know do what you got to do all your little you know your little tab options I guess you could say are over here like a cut if you want to cut this right there you can move this section over to maybe a different part of your video um, whatever you can you can kind of just play around with it honestly it's not super difficult um, now if you're trying to look let me see if I can bring in a different file just to show you guys I just cleared off like literally everything so I don't even know if I have any files in here to show you guys hmm yeah I really don't have anything on here um, all right um, I'm just gonna pull in a f old video that I have made just so I can kind of show you guys a little sequence timeline we're gonna drag this over forget the audio it's gonna get rid of that but anyway let's go at the face anyway this is just a really quick actually that's one clip that works out perfect okay so there's your there's your clip here is your video here is your audio so if you want to say only pull um, the audio from a clip you can just drag whatever clip you're wanting up here you can even pull from your timeline as well put it up here um, and pull your say just the video and do something like this now this isn't gonna look right just because I'm throwing it places but you can just for an example Once you do that, you don't want to just like leave it. You actually want to take your fingers and twist it, kind of rub it in. Make sure you're twisting in the same direction that you're straight. So obviously that doesn't look right, but just as an example, you kind of just overlay things. Um, you can delete things, whatever you want. Honestly, I am self-taught with this, so you kind of just have to play around with it. But that is really just the quick gist of how to throw some stuff together um, you know you, you can import files and overlap them or whatever um, so this is your this right here is your editing screen um, and you can go up to window and then workspaces and these are all your different workspaces that um, so say um, let's just say you want to throw some Oh gosh, let's just say you want to throw some graphics on here. So, if it'll load. Sorry if my film is all over the place. I'm trying to film and talk at the same time. Like I said, get the newest computer you can because it does a lot of this if you don't. Okay. So, graphics. Um, so, you could do like a coming up next little screen here okay whatever I'm just gonna okay anyway like I said I'm not updated you actually want to take your fingers and twist it and kind of rub it in make sure 
And then bam. Coming up next. Oh goodness, hold on. Focus. Okay. Right there. So anyway, not not a crazy rundown. I can't give you guys all my secrets. But if you guys have any questions about how to do things, oh no, nope, Shamrock Shake season. By no means am I an expert. I am still learning with this. I am still learning with this. I really just, you know, like I said, I was self-taught with this and I have a lot to still learn, but I kind of just know enough to throw videos together and you guys obviously watch them, so. <laughs> anyway, that is the quick lowdown. So there you have it, Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, y'all, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something, or if you didn't, feel free to ask me questions in the comments. Um, I'm, I'm open to helping anybody that I possibly can. I am no expert by any means, um, but this is just one more thing that I do, and this is kind of how I run things, and I hope it helps you at least maybe get an idea of how you might be able to utilize some stuff or what might work best for you guys. Um, but if you would like, feel free to subscribe and click the little notification bell um, because that will let you know when I post videos, which I'm going to be posting a lot more. So stay tuned because um, I, now that I got this nifty new camera, I'm just excited about it. I'm just going to be using it all the time. Um, and on that note, I will be shed hunting this week. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be in a different state than Missouri. So feel free to take a guess what state I'm in because I'm excited about it. It's one of my favorite states. Actually, it's my favorite state. So if you know what my favorite state is, you'll know where I'm at. So anyway, thanks for checking in and I will see you in the next video.